station of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day after the market close. Tom takes your phone calls from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time using the data available at that time. Let's go to John in Austin, Texas. Hey, John, what's going on? Hey, buddy. How you doing, man? I'm so good, I can't stand it. How about you? <laughs> good, man. God bless you. All of God's best to you and your family. Wow. You teach us how to make money. You are, are such a man of integrity and honesty. Right. I so admire what you do in your show, and you just deserve a whole lot of credit. And the other thing is you would be hard-pressed to invest in something that's going to bring you a better return than that gold report. It is fantastic, buddy. I just wow. so appreciate you having us make money. I, I appreciate it, man. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great night, folks. Let's take a look at one of our quotes from Duke Ellington. A believer is an optimist who thinks of tomorrow. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 70, NASDAQ off 22, S&P's off 9.5, gold contract up $12.40, traded 1,336 an ounce. Silver up 37 cents at $21.44 an ounce. Platinum up 7 bucks at 1,512 an ounce. Copper up 2 pennies at 327 a pound. Light sweet crude up 55 cents, trading at 102.84 a barrel. You had the bonds. The 10 year was up four ticks at 125.04. 30 year flat at 137. King dollar up 133 ticks, trading out at 80.17. The euro down 34 at 136. The yen off 31, trading out at 101.32. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want well, to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the S&Ps, what do you have? We get down to 1952 out here. You close out at 1964. You do volume of 652 million. What does that mean? It means you're going to be right back downtown, folks. Uh, bottom line is that this wasn't a bad day in the context of what is happening around the world. Uh, the Dow was off four tenths of a percent. You had the S&P off four tenths. The Nasdaq was off five tenths. In Europe, we had the FTSE off six tenths. The DAX was off one and a half percent. Big numbers. Uh, Spain was off 1.9. And uh, let's go over to the Nasdaq. So, what does it mean? The longer basis, folks. Longer basis. The correction has started. No two ways about this baby. Nasdaq Composite. What do we have? Down 22 bucks, trading at 43.96, uh, which is 1.6 billion versus 1.7. If we go to take a look at the SPY. Correlation inside the S&P, this is what you have. SPY did 95 million shares. You got down to a price point of 195.06. That's after making highs out here with 52 million shares. The NDX 100, what do you have with the NDX 100? We did volume of 44 million shares. That's after making highs with 15 million shares. Well, let's not count 15. That's on the third. We'll call, count the seventh. 23. You want to tell count the day before? 31. It doesn't matter which way you, you take it, folks. Bottom line is that you're down on volume. Cr it, it, there's no doubt that the market crawled all the way back. But if we take a look at the future market for a second, you want to see intraday how this crawl came back. What you're looking at is this. Intraday, it comes back. It fills the gap. This is a classic, too. You know, the, the futures... Oh, here. No, one second. Let me... Uh, that was the Q's. Uh, ESU4. The, the Q's came up, filled, filled the full, full gap from this morning, and then gave it up once again. Uh, we take a look at the future market, and we use the E-minis on that. We take a look at the E-minis, and what you have uh, did the, just the exact same thing. We, we came down this morning, uh, 2.50 a.m. Uh, futures are out there at uh, 1965. We got to a low of 1945. You come all the way back up to 1963 and then give it up again. Gold contract. What do we have with gold? Guess what, folks? Gold's an ABC structure on the way up. Wide price spread, accelerated volume. We did 166,000 contracts on gold today. We are at 1336. Next stop is up there at the 1392 area. Uh, the silver contract. What does silver do? Same type of setup. Silver goes topside with wide price spread, with acceleration. Uh, we're at 
2145. And what we have is this. We did 50,000 50, contracts in the silver market, folks. Your A point in silver is 1865. Your B is 2135. That's a big, that's a, that is a big monster. So that is, uh, we're talking a buck 75 on top of 2087 and tw on top of 2082, third, 21, 22. You're talking a 2250 up here. And, uh, 2216 is the high of February. What you have is this. Inside, inside the silver market, wants to go to the February highs. Inside the March, I mean, inside the gold market, wants to go to the March highs. Bonds, ever-ready bonds, what do you have? Well, bonds will not give it up, folks. They gave it up on price today, but guess what? Monster volume. Once you get volume in, give it up slightly on price, you're gonna be right back higher. We got to a high out here of 125.15 today. Took out the swing point. The swing point had 752,000 contracts. We did 135,000 contracts. Your swing high from the 29th of May is 126. This baby's going to make a run for 126. You know, we'll, if it has the same amount of volume today, guess what? We'll break that 126 and you'll have an ABC structure on the way up. We all look at the 30 year. The 30 year is strong like bull, big time. We did 404,000 contracts in the 30 year. And what you have is this is that the 30 year, the high of the 30 year, the past six months is 136.10. We got to 130, uh, one second. No, 138.10 rather. 138.10. We got to 137.25. We did that with 404,000 contracts right at the 405,000 contract. What you're going to see here, the bond market is going to build cars to get up and over this 138. I expect what you're going to see is about a 142 in bonds. And a 142, of course, is coming up to ice. The 10 year is out here at 2.53. You know, and yesterday it's ironic we were talking about um, why basically competitively around the world, um, I yields, they look low, but guess what? They're high in the context of around the world. And we were w walking through whether it's the United Kingdom, France, Germany, we brought up Portugal. And of course, Portugal folks, um, you know, just that's 3.9. Uh, last night it was about 2.8. Uh, bottom line, is that um, the second largest bank in Portugal, they stopped trading in it today. Why? Because it's a cash crunch. Um, bottom line is that when they actually did stop trading in it, by the way, uh, what did happen is that that's when our market stopped bouncing back. You know, it's, it's like they stopped the machines. It's a beautiful thing. But bottom line, is it going to make a difference on the long basis? No, it's not. Dollar index. What do we have with the dollar index? What do you have with the dollar index is this. And what was pretty cool out here today is that the dollar went higher, gold went higher. Dollar index up 123 ticks at 80.16. You know, we'll see uh, the dollar had a huge sign of strength on January, um, July 3rd. That got it up to the 80.60. I expect you're going to be building some cars to get up to that level. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Let's go to Mario in Boston. Hey, Mario, what's going on? Good. How are you doing, Tom? Today? I'm doing great. You having a good day out there? Very nice day. Cool. Uh, I'm checking on uh, A&V. A&V. Let's take a look at it. You get uh, Allied Nevada. This is a uh, gold company. The lowest. No, 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 no. No, AMD. AMV? AMV. Advanced Micro Devices. A okay, AMD. Sorry. Right? No. It's AMD, sorry, thank you. Okay, so AMD, Advanced Micro Devices, okay. The low is 304, the high is 465. It was flat out here today. Okay, so what are you looking to do here? Looking to get in. Okay, so when you take a look at this baby, we'll bring this back on a, a two-year weekly. What you have is that on a two-year weekly, it's, you know, it's basically at the top of its range. You know, I mean, the last time it was up here, you come down with monster volume, you went from 434, the sun a weekly in January, get down to 341, you came down on 224 million shares. Um, you know, I'd wait to at least the, a test of that 304, and you're at 429 right now, so that's a, that's a long way down from where you are. I mean, this equity in general, um, Mario, you know, in 2006 it was $42, 
and it hasn't been able to basically get out of its way since then. So I wouldn't get too excited about it. Yeah. Yeah, all right. Okay, have Thanks a great so one. Have a great one. Have a safe one. Let's look at some of the uh, high-volume stocks out here. Uh, we had Bank of America uh, down 16 cents, that is. Uh, CBS was down at 2.13. Uh, United Continental, check that out. That was up $5.10. And these airlines had to get smoked. Let's see what's going on, on over there. Um, so she had, she, she had wide price per accelerated volume. She did 20 million shares, came off that bottom. And bottom line is that uh, she's got something happening. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're going to be coming right back. We have the Dow finished down 70. NASDAQ off 22. S&P's off uh, 9.5. Some of the Dow stocks out here. Caterpillar was off 72. You had uh, Big Blue down 72. J.P. Morgan Chase off 46. We're going to be right back. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter. And if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now is a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of news letter he delivers every morning then visit the front page of tfnn and you'll find the path of least resistance under trading newsletters for all the details and to start your 30-day free trial today log on to tfnn.com now Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels, as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Wouldn't it be great if you could get a red light, green light indicator that gives you signals on 25 different future contracts? Now you can with Taz Signal Box. This red light, green light market profile system dynamically updates 24 hours a day and provides you with important trend and trade signals on nine different commodities, nine different indices, and eight different currencies. Right now, you can receive a free two-week trial to Taz Signal Box. For all the details and to find out how the Signal Box works, visit the front page of TFNN.com. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on Chinese stocks, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary for Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors, employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. With the launch of Tiger TV, TFNN has brought our programming to the next level. With Tiger TV, you can gain access to each host's charts and computer screens as they host their daily stock program. Whether it's Tom O'Brien, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, David White, Larry Pesavento, Andy Hecht, Victor Jones, or Terrell Martin, you can catch all of our technicians hosting their programs live and archived on Tiger TV for your viewing pleasure 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. If you haven't checked out Tiger TV, then visit TFNN.com and see what you're missing. Tom, take your phone call. Now, now.
toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Welcome back, folks. We had the Dow Industrials finish down 70, NASDAQ off 22, S&Ps off 9.5. And, and you know, folks, if you have been over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see right on the front page uh, eSignal 12.0. We have a, a partnership with eSignal. Uh, eSignal is an outstanding platform. I have our man, Mr. Carlo Mackey, right now. Carlo is the director of business development. Uh, it's a new piece of software on a platform that is fast, uh, accurate, and depending on how long uh, you have been listening to me at TFNN, you know that uh, uh, when I'm trading the uh, e-minis, uh, you know, there's many platforms that I do have, but the bottom line, the volume um, for e-signal has always, always been the most accurate for the e-minis on a 10-minute basis. Carlo Mackey, welcome to TFNN. Hey, Tom. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Great to be on board. Absolutely. Well, you know, I can tell you, this new platform you had, it, it was phenomenal. And I'm sure you just heard me about the e-minis. And, you know, it's pretty wild, Carlo, because, um, you know, as a trader, I've had many platforms over the course of years. But no matter what platform I had, I... Uh, and this goes years back, the E-mini um, data feed, because I trade off volume so dramatically, have always been the ultimate. Um, now, this new 12.0 you have, um, it's phenomenal. And, and in the context, what I'm talking about here is the amount of power that you have that actually my computer doesn't have to use that we're using your computers. Can you, can you talk, first off, can you give us an overview of exactly what is in 12.0? Yeah, sure, Tom. Uh, first off, thanks for having me, and uh, thanks for the TFNN listeners and viewers, uh, you know, listening to the broadcast. But also, uh, as Tom mentioned, we're having TFNN streaming live uh, in perpetuity uh, going forward through the eSignal desktop version 12. So we're very excited about the benefits it's going to bring to both your viewers and listeners as well as our customer base. And I think it's a great it's merger of two companies and technical analysis. So we're very excited about the partnership. And we, uh, we um, really appreciate it. And we are too, Carl. Mm -hmm. It's huge. Great, great. Um, so in regard to the platform, uh, I hate to be uh, so, I guess, lack of modest, but we're trying to change the, I guess, technical platform for charting, trading, and analytics. Yes. I think I've been doing this for about 20 years, and there's a lot of decent platforms out there, but most of them are for decision support, I would call it, you know, look at a price, pull up a chart. And really what we've been trying to do at eSignal is evolve the platform into almost an ecosystem where traders can go to get uh, insight into the market, um, but not only insight through charting, pricing, offering free training, news, all the stuff that are kind of checkboxes, but we also want to offer special indications. So bringing in folks like TFNN and third-party indicators and having an open platform with an app store so that the third parties, many of which advertise, such as Taz that I just saw, uh, advertise on your broadcast build their app indicators into our platform to help traders make decisions. They're proven uh, and successful ways to make it easier to ensure your success. And then interaction. So the big thing with version 12, or one of the big things, we brought in social media. So in addition to TFNN video, you'll be able to collaborate with up to 700,000 active traders around the globe and share your ideas and collaborate with folks uh, while sharing charts from eSignal, giving your commentary and getting feedback from experts and, you know, active day traders like yourself. So yes. You we're know, very excited about uh, a lot of the new enhancements from social media, uh, the ability to screen the market. We have an advanced screener. We think we're the only ones in the market that do technical and fundamental analysis. We've built in uh, the ability to screen upwards of 25 technical indicators from MACD to uh, stochastics, your Bollinger Bands, and then compare them with, you know, simple fundamental fields and build Boolean searches of nth degree to find your trading ideas. You, you, know, then, what's, you um, know what's incredible, Carlo and folks, is this. So picture, you know, we've all heard a lot about cloud computing and, you know, if you're out there and you're trading, you know that whatever type of box you're using, folks, okay, is that, you know, you want it to be fast. What they've integrated into 12.0 is that no matter what type, as Kyle just said, no matter what type of indicators you are using, they're allowing um, 
you as a customer to use their servers, okay? That's what I found phenomenal that, you know, as individual traders, you can put the input in there and then you're basically, e signals picking up the cost going across those exchanges saying, you know, whatever the input is, hey, here, here's the output, which is just really cool and that's your market screen, a plus, of course. He'll be right here. We must have just lost them. Sorry about that. Yeah, uh, so I'm back. Uh, that's right. Yeah, we've been dealing with traders, uh, active traders, for about 20 years as e-signal. Yes. And we understand that performance and accuracy of data are some of the most important things that we all want to do while we're trading, right? And the reality is we've moved a lot of that functionality to our servers to offer that performance and attribution to the folks who are making money in the market. And that's why folks have gravitated to our platform for these 20 years. Now, can you talk a little bit about, you know, you have the market screen of plus, and then you have the uh, option analytics. Uh, that, 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 that basically is a, is a very comprehensive package that's on there. Yeah, exactly. We, um, we went out, we were never big into options at eSignal, and we see a lot of traders moving in that direction. So I've spent the last six months or so doing evaluations of different potential solutions in the market. We wanted to be better than the thinkorswims out there and the e-trades and the brokers. We really wanted a product that was focused on active traders who are trading in and out of the options market, really looking for indication. So we found a partner called Dynamic Trend, who we've partnered with in the past for an indicator that we sell called Advanced Get, which many folks probably know sure. in the active trader space. And these folks uh, have been building this platform for three years, and we're white labeling it. And my comparison of everything in the market, this is really designed for technical options traders. It's far superior to anything that I've ever seen uh, around forecasting, does risk management, allows you to screen the market all through a visual tool, drag and drop, changing the volume, changing the call puts, doing spread spread analysis, fantastic. We're very excited about it. Well, you know it's amazing, and I know this, this, this part here, folks, if you're an option trader, um, as far as I know at this particular point, you, Carlo, eSignal is the only one inside of spread trading that the charts actually come up with actual candles, okay? If you're a spread trader, folks, what ends up happening is that every other system, what happens is you'll get a line chart at the end of the day, but you actually won't get the physical, actually, where both contracts traded, okay? If you're basically, you know, spread trading, and that's pretty phenomenal. And I haven't found anything else that, that is out there, which is really cool. I know there's not a huge amount of spread traders, but when you are a spread trader, that's so important. It's amazing. Yeah, yeah, I agree. And in addition to that, you can run any of the other standard indicators across those options trades. But in addition, we have brought in probably some of the most, uh, the 27 most popular options trading strategies so that you can do your analysis from iron condors to butterflies, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Pretty much any study or methodology that you use yes. is built into the product both for charting and analysis for options. So it's now, fantastic. Can, can you can you just stay with us for a few minutes? We can just get a quick break, Absolutely. okay? That that's a beautiful thing because, folks, uh, you can come over to our website at TFNN. You're going to see it right in the carousel, okay? Um, and as you're hunting this, okay, we're going to be back in, in three minutes. We're going to talk about the types of lists that you can set up, okay? There's there's a huge amount of lists that you can set up. You can detach charts, okay? The bottom line is that you can make the system your own. This is Carlo Mackey, Tom O'Brien. You stay right there. We're coming right back. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock and option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com.
In quiet markets, investors search for new trading opportunities. We'd like to introduce you to a new product that provides opportunities even in flat markets. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a new and innovative Chicago-based exchange registered with the Commodity Futures Trading Commission. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their trading platform. Nadex never charges a fee to use their platform, which even includes real-time charts and full custom capability. Nadex's unique short-term binary options allow traders and investors to capitalize on strategies even when the underlying markets are quiet. Nadex's innovation has allowed them to come up with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Andy Heck's powerful weekly newsletter, The Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now is the perfect time to get a full month-long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long term profits and the Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone silent. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. We had the Dow finished down 70, NASDAQ off 22, S&P's off 9.5. Our guest today is uh, Mr. Carlo Mackey. He's the Senior Director of Business Development at eSignal. As you come over to our website at TFNN, you're going to see the right in the carousel, you're going to see the new 12.0. Uh, Carlo and I were talking about exactly what's in the new platform right now. You know, Carlo, can you talk a little bit about, you know, uh, when... And I know that this is in some platforms, but the reality is that uh, when when a trade is setting up his own screens, you know, it's great to have what is what are the winners going up? What are the losers? 
you know, what mm -hmm. is happening in the marketplace. Can you just walk us through a few of those tools? And then if you can walk us through, I, I know that uh, we're going to have uh, some kind of a special for our listeners here. If you can walk us through how they could get that. Yeah, absolutely. So as we talked about earlier, we're trying to take the approach from an active trader standpoint. So our platform is completely customizable. We understand that traders need to be efficient and they want to find things as quickly and readily as possible. So all of our screens, windows, lists, watch lists are all integrated together. They can be moved around the screen, set up as you like. You can set up alerts on pretty much anything in the platform with the click of a button yes. uh, that will alert you via email voice, uh, little pop-up windows. It's a fantastic platform. Anything you want to do, you can pretty much customize in the platform to meet your needs. I, you know, I, I, I got to congratulate you and your development team. It is amazing. It really is. <laughs> Thank you. Know? you. Thank and, you. Well, I'd love to, before we forget, Tom, I would love to lo offer the viewers and the listeners a special promotion for TFNN, if you don't mind, at I, some point. That would be awesome. Be free, let, I don't let, want to forget. No, let's talk about that. So, uh, yeah, we uh, through the partnership, we'd love to offer everyone a free look at uh, eSignal for two months. Uh, all you have to do is call in or go to the website and call in eSignal.com. Okay. Mention TFNN. You'll get the product for two months for free. You just have to pick up the exchange fees as we have to pass through those fees. But Absolutely. everything else is free of charge. We're confident that you'll love it and look forward to working with you folks in the future. And, you know, folks, what ends up happening... Um, that is a phenomenal deal. Uh, if you if you haven't been on e well if you've been on e signal you're going to do it too. But if you haven't been on e signal, uh, check it out. You can call them up and, and the fees, folks. If you're a retail person, the fees are minimal. Okay, a pro you can get all the what all even as a pro it's 113 dollars. I think it's not going to kill you. Um, you know, but the bottom line is that. Um, it's two months, so they'll they'll call in. They they can call in. Let them know that you listen to TFNN. Let them know that you listen to Carlo. Um, you can test drive it two months. And two months is a great test drive, folks. Okay, because normally, um, you know, the bottom line is that that's a long time. They can really understand how this system works. Well, listen, you know, I want to congratulate you and your team again. We are excited to be part of that platform. Uh, and you know it's amazing, Carla. When I first started TFNN, and I'm I'm on the 20 years now, right? And it's pretty wild, because when I started it, the method to the madness, okay, was that other people would be calling in, and when I first started this, we were actually trading uh, live on the air when the markets were opened, okay? And I wanted ideas, okay? So it's amazing going 20 years now, and you know the the having uh, stock twits on there is amazing because as you said a little bit earlier folks just picture this pitch picture, picture anything that's trending out there you know you're going to be on the e-signal platform the stock twits is going to be on there you're going to see what people are trending you're going to be able to pull up the chart you're going to be able to say okay do i like this not like this that's your choice okay but it's total self-empowerment in a social technical intellectual platform, which is just so cool, man. I mean, it's amazing how far technology's come, right? Yeah, I think it's amazing. As, as you said, I, I love the example of someone being able to call into the show, hear your ideas on a particular security, share those out to the social media community, and then get a, a whole crowd to talk about those ideas and either agree with you or, in some cases, maybe disagree with you, Tom. So exactly. I think it's a great way to validate some trade ideas and, and uh, really develop some great uh, ways to beat the market it is as a group so folks come over to our website at tfnn you're going to see it right in the carousel you can hit the phone number right there you can give them a call let them know that you just heard carlo uh, let them know you listen to tfnn you're going to get we have a test drive at two months absolutely free all you have to do is pay the exchange fees and if you want to understand that just right on the e signal just pull up and you'll see what the exchange fees are right there Carlo, you have a great day, safe day. We really appreciate uh, the opportunity, and uh, we look forward uh, to uh, a great, long relationship and a lot of great trades. <laughs> Absolutely. Thanks, Tom. Good luck to everyone. Okay. Take have care. a great one. Have a safe one. It's a phenomenal system, folks. The thing that's amazing, this is what's really amazing. Uh, there's a lot of things that are amazing, but one of the biggest things out here, folks, is that you're allowed to use their servers to scan the market. The, 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 the Market Scanner Plus, okay, um, is something that you want to play with out there. It's brand new, uh, but you can put your parameters in it, and their servers are going to go out there and basically scan and come back to you. Now, what's really cool, check, so check this out. 
So trading, well, all software, but trading platforms in general, what ends up happening, and I have a couple big powerful computers here that were made just for trading. But what happens is this, is that there's leakage, folks. And what leakage means is this, is that no matter how good you, the, the computers basically are, that the software, and I'm sure most of us know this, the software keeps running, 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 right? Just the, and, and it's going into your RAM, right? What they have managed to do, which is really cool, is that that leakage is shut down. I mean, it's, 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 it just shut down. Uh, and it makes a huge difference. So it's your, not your machine that you have to depend on, which is really cool when you're scanning the markets, okay? Because many times I know when I have to bring someone in here and get them cleaned out, you know, the bottom line is that I don't understand the full context of it, but I do understand when um, it's slowing down a bit and what it is, it's something that in, in a piece of my software that I'm using that, you know, recycles. Now, folks, let's go over to our man, Mr. Andy Heck, and don't forget, Every trading, every Tuesday and Thursday, right here at TFNN, outstanding show, the Technometer Commodity Hour. You can also test drive Andy's newsletter. The way you do that, you come over to our website at TFNN, you go to newsletters, trading newsletters, you can test drive the Technometer Commodity Report one month absolutely free. Andy Heck, what's going on? Hiya, Tom. How are you? I'm doing great, man. How you doing? Uh, it's kind of a kind of a down day, down day. What, what? Look, we we had to put the family dog to sleep today. Oh bummer, man. Yeah, that's always. That's oh, that's always how old was he? Uh, Fourteen sheep. Oh, 14. that's terrible, man. I'm sorry, yeah, man. Yeah, it's uh, it's heavy. It's sad. Listen, sad. It's, listen. I've had six German shepherds, and my German shepherd right now, Harley, is going to be four in August. And what happens, folks, when you're, you know, an animal lover, the bottom line is that, you know, you know they're going to last 12 or 13 years. And this one here, you know, I didn't have a dog for three or four years, and I knew I was getting them. I'm saying, oh, I can't, I don't even want to think about the day that I'm going to lose them. And it's, I know, you know, it's hard. It's, it's, a, it's, it's always a, a really hard thing. Yeah, and, and you know, what we're, what we're going to have to do, um, you're going to get a new one, man. Just, yeah, oh, yeah. absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Anyway, um... Very. First of all, I love the segment with Carlo. Yeah, that was great. Yeah. Really looking forward to that. I think it's it's yes. really going to be great for the listeners and great for all of us. And really, really a great platform. Um, in the markets today, uh, tomorrow big day for uh, agricultural commodities. Tom. Okay. The USDA yeah. puts out its WASDE report, its monthly supply and demand uh, report. Uh, the grain prices, listen, grains basically have tanked. You have soybeans down 12% since June 26th. Wow. Corn down 12.2% since June 27th. And wheat down 27% since May 6th. These things are all brutally oversold. Yeah. Brutally, brutally oversold. I mean, you know, corn is less than half of the price it was, you know, a short time ago. So, you know, while I think that, you know, the tomorrow's report's going to show a very good planting season, a very good harvest, it could be, you know, all of that is in these prices. Could be a uh, sell the rumor, buy the news kind of situation. So I've been looking at some kind of in the money calls okay. on some ETFs, you know, stuff like the WEAT, the CORN, the uh, SOYB, um, you know, to to take advantage of a short covering rally, which I think is possible. Uh, you know, listen, you got Stokes down below ten. in all of these things. You got the RSI down at 10, 20. Well, you know, we're just so oversold in these things. You know, a lot of commodities are oversold. Natural gas is uh, for these commodities. Catch falling knives. That's why I recommend in these situations buying in the money calls because at least you have your stop built in and at least you could ride through that bumpy road. You know, you know check this out. This is pretty cool. As you're bringing this up, I just brought up Deer and Company, right? Uh-huh. You know, because of the farmers, right? Sure. You know, Deer's trading at 88, 
guess what? Has a high volume low at uh, 59. <laughs> uh huh. Yeah. That's going to get interesting, man. Uh, it could get very interesting. But you know, these grain markets have just been pummeled. I mean, pummeled, like mercilessly. <laughs> <laughs> you stay right there, all right? Sure. Andy Heck, Tom O'Brien, you stay right there, folks. We want to hear from you. Andy, the Honeywell was down 26 cents. You get American Express up uh, down 26. Citigroup was off 48. Don't forget, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You want to test drive e-signal, you get two free months. Just mention TFNN. We're coming right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Masters Show at TFNN.com. Eastern legend tells of a fair maiden who was offered a rare gift by the king of the land, a bag of pearls. The king promised that she could keep the largest, most perfect pearl she could find with these three conditions. One, choose only one pearl. Two, remove one pearl at a time, accept or reject it. And three, if rejected, it would be lost forever. She began by looking at the pearls passing on many special treasures. She delved deeper into the bag and soon the pearls were replaced with pebbles. Sadly, she went home empty-handed. Folks, replace pearls with time because we cannot go back even two seconds. We live in the eternal moment of now. So when now are you going to take advantage of my offer to you, a subscription to my daily investment newsletter service, Mastering Probability, where you can experience the most incredible pearls for trading and investing, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator and Strategy. The offer? It gets better. A 30-day money-back guarantee. Don't go home empty-handed. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. 
No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern. And you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV. But if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mob in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Backtech Environmental. For more information, just click the Backtech banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. We had the Dow finish down 70, NASDAQ off 22, S&P's off 10 and a half. We're talking with our man, Mr. Andy Heck, and we are talking commodities here. So natural gas, natural very interesting gas. today. All right, the EIA came out and announced an injection of 93 BCF. Inventories are two, just over 2 trillion cubic feet. We're 24.4% below last year's level, 276 below the five-year average, but we are, headed lo we are going lower. Uh, I think we're coming into a very good area of support on natural gas. Uh, the, it looks terrible, but it always looks terrible at the bottom. Uh, I think this thing holds $4 and will head back higher. Uh, it's just basically weather forecast. It's, it's going to be a little cool in the next couple of weeks, but inventories are too low. So I think that, you know, you have to grit your teeth, and uh, it's a buying opportunity here on a fundamental basis. Yeah, what's interesting is that if we, if we do go over to the UNG, um, you know, in the UNG, folks, is the U.S. Natural Gas Fund. Let me just put this up in a weekly for a second. Because it looks like it's going back to its original, not original breakout, but, yeah, it's going back to its sign of strength. So watch, on a weekly basis, folks. Big sign of strength was January. Week January 24th goes from 21, 27 to 24. Does it in 56 million shares. And right now we have 26 million. Yeah, sweet, man. We have 26 million in four days. So yeah. uh, 6, 12, 18, 24. So you, you're going you're gonna to bang out about 32 million versus a 56. You just have to reject that uh, price at 21, 27. Yeah. 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 One of the other things I'm looking at here is the XLE. Can you pull that one up? Absolutely. So you get I the, think that looks sick. <laughs> yeah, you get the XLE. I've been in it twice, man. I, I, get, I, get, I went out of it twice, too. Uh, you but you but trade I, the outright? I actually bought some puts. But I, but I agree. I, you know, this is what you have, folks. Okay, the, the XLE came off the ties. Now, the, the well, here first off, the XLE is that you have the um, energy select uh, sector. Inside of that, it's all about Exxon Mobil and Chevron. Exxon Mobil um, was flat today. CVX. Let me just see. She's down a buck. 14. See, because what happens, and this is what's really wild, all you need is either one of those to break, okay, and they both look like they're going to break, because ExxonMobil and Chevron make up 28% of the XLE. Is that a trip? No, that's, it's a trip. No, it is. It, is. That's, it just looks weak. You know, there's a lot of bearish talk now coming out about the stock market. Carl Icahn said tread carefully here in stocks. Wilbur Ross said some negative comments. So, you know, eh, well, see, what, the, what Wilbur Ross did this morning, folks, okay, this is, a, <laughs> what happened is that it was pretty wild. Uh, they were basically asking him on CNBC, is he a buyer and he's a seller? And he, and Wilbur Ross buys whole companies, folks, okay? <laughs> and the bottom line is that he's been selling six times as much as he's been buying. That right. says it all. Because the valuations. He, that's what he, and he was talking about that, which, which is really unusual, too, by the way. It's like, of course. you know, like, why would he be talking about that? that I, I, there was a disconnect even in my own head. I said, this is interesting, man. You know, because if you're selling something, you know, picture the next, I mean, would you buy something off him? I wouldn't buy something off that guy. No. You know? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, not at all. I, you know, I always take these, these comments with a grain of salt. But oh yeah, but no, no. Know, I, 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 listen, I, I, markets feel heavy here. Oh, you know listen. what doesn't? You know what's really been interesting, Tom? Base metals. Yeah. 
Base metals have been doing very nice. You know, very quietly, zinc made a 35-month high this, this week. Yeah. We know nickel's been strong. Copper is back, 327 a pound. You know, button up against that 330 level, yeah, which is kind of resistance. A lot of that's the car business, right? Yeah, you know, the car, car business, business is huge, man. And, and China, and there's folks, a lot of stuff. No, there is. And, and, you know, I heard this morning, I mean, the retail business is getting smoked, folks, okay? Yeah. And this is the ironic part about it, okay? Uh, there was, you know, a couple questions. Are like, like, Why is the retail business getting smoked when the car business is to the moon? The reason being, folks, is that you can buy a car... With nothing. You don't need any That's money. That's right. You don't need any There's money to buy a car. There's deals everywhere. I drive down the street. Here, come in, lease a car, you don't lease need a any brand money. new it's car. Hilarious. No money down. No, Cheap totally. payments. Totally. Hey, absolutely. And, and car sales in China are doing very well. And that bodes very well for the aluminum market. It does. No, it does. And that's why and we see that in Alcoa. Something. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. That's why they're finally picking up. So base metals, you know, might be headed in for a, a nice uh, um, uh, return for the second half of the year. However, however, if stock market turns and goes south, these base metals, the knee-jerk reaction will be to sell base metals. I think you buy that debt. Hey, you know what's interesting, and we, I guess we're not going to have enough time to, to go through the whole thing right now, but this is pretty cool. Um, I was reading this morning, right, the platinum market, okay? Mm -hmm. So the guy that bought the, uh, what happens, folks, in South Africa, these mines are so old in South Africa, but they still have the most ore in the world. It's expensive ore, though. That's what ends up happening, right? Mm -hmm. So the guy that had bought the mines off gold fields, the, these these mines, folks, gold fields will, will cost him a fortune. He ended up turning around, and now he's the lowest producer of gold in the world. Mr. Fix-It. Yeah. Okay? Uh -huh. You read that, yeah. right? Yeah, I did. It, it is so cool. And what it is, folks, okay, what he actually did, he is a huge negotiator, but the bottom line is it's what the difference is about taking care of people. You had Anglo Gold turn around, an Anglo Platinum, rather, turn around and fire 16,000 people. And of course, all that did is shut down their mine for six months. This guy took mines that gold fields couldn't make any money on, and when all said and done, he only had to get rid of 100 people out of thousands, and then he started building schools and building health facilities. Right. And the bottom line is that now he's gonna try to do that with platinum. It's, right, right. He did it with Harmony, didn't he? He he started with Harmony. This is years yeah. ago, right? Yeah, yeah, in the nineties. And that's right. And with with um, with Goldfields, though, he did that. That was only three years ago. Uh huh. That's how quick it was. I mean, but so, you know, I mean, I mean, what he does is a microcosm of what the Chinese do. You know, when in terms of commodities, they come into a country, they'll build hospitals, they'll build schools, they'll build roads. And there's the quid pro quo. They take some commodity production or some equity interest. It's, it's or, important, or, man. It's a very, very, very good uh, formula. It is, man. It, it absolutely is. And it makes the unions happy. And listen, what are you working for? The, the bottom line is that, you know, working to take care of your family, man. You know absolutely. what I mean? So that, that's, a, that's a big deal. There's no doubt about it, man. No question. No listen, question. folks, you can come over to our website, Test Drive Andy's Newsletter. The way you do it, go to TFNN, go to Newsletters. Go to trading newsletters, the Tectum at the Commodity Report, test drive it right here, right now. Okay, so are you moving this weekend? I am moving, so I'm not on the air next week. I have to move all of my stuff. I'm going to set up a new studio, so my bald head will be on the air when we come back. I like that, man. <laughs> I like that. That's a beautiful thing. I'm looking forward to it. I'm going to set up a little TFNN studio in the new house. That's a beautiful thing. It'll be good. And rest in peace, Lucy. Yeah, poor Lucy. Yeah, rest in peace. All right, Tom, enjoy. Okay. Have a great one. Have we'll a talk great to you one, soon. Man. Have a safe one. Buddy. You stay Bye. right there, folks. We'll be coming right back. Now, don't forget, folks, you can come over to our website at TFNN. Call eSignal, hit it. They'll give you two months absolutely free. You just pay the exchange fees. We're going to be right back. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, and a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the... The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day after the market close. Tom takes your phone calls from 4 to 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time using the data available at that time.
Let's go to Marty in Worcester. Hey, Marty, what's going on? Hi, Mr. O'Brien. How are you, sir? I'm doing great, man. How you been? Oh, can't really complain. First of all, I wanted to thank you for the bargain re-up on the Dole Report. I've been getting it for quite a while, and uh, for a couple years there, it was like an insurance policy. I'd say, oh, i got to buy gold, and the Dole Report would say, oh, no, not yet. And lately, it's like a winning lottery ticket. So uh, it's working really well all around. I appreciate the feedback, Marty. Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go nine hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the Internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. So everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's so making a great night, folks. Let's take a look at uh, this card is by Maya Angelou. I believe the most important thing beyond discipline and creativity is daring to dare. Oh, yeah, baby. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We had the Dow Industrials down 70, NASDAQ off 22, SPs off 12, 10 rather. Gold contract up $11.80, trading at 1,336 an ounce. Now, if we go over to gold, this is what you have cooking, baby. Takes a B point out, takes it out with volume, folks. We did 167,000 contracts. It's an ABC structure on the way up, and this is what you have. Your A point on this is 1251. Your B is 1326, 75 bucks. Your C point is 1305, gives you a 1375. And what you have is that the March swing point, the low is 1368, the high is 1392. That's where this baby wants to run to. Silver, what do we have with silver? Same type of setup in silver. This is what you have. Yes. Silver, mm. S-I-U, right? S-I-U, S-I-U, four. Come on, there we go. Okay, so silver goes up today 37 cents, does 50,000 contracts, okay? Takes the B point out, takes it out with volume. This is what you have. A point is $16.65. Your B point is 21.22. So what does that give us? Uh, was that 16 or 18 dollars? 18 dollars. There you go. I was gonna say it's not four 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 dollars would be a trip. So uh, we get uh, that's uh, what a, a buck twenty, a buck forty, uh, sixteen, a dollar forty. Okay, so it's a buck eighty. That gives us uh, 22 bucks and 22.16 is the high. These babies are going up to the highs. That's how this is set up. Now, let's get over because I'm going to do this. I'm going to get, get to the rest of the contracts. Uh, but what did happen out here, I want to show you something, okay? Uh, GDX. GDX is the Gold Markers Vectors Trust, okay? This is going to get really tricky here, folks, but it's really cool. So check it out. So what do we do? The GDX did this, and I'm going to pull up a few of them so you can see what's going on, okay? Because bottom line, GDX, it goes to 27.78, it closed at 26.61, so meaning it was higher, it closed lower, but guess what? You had volume behind the move. It's an ABC structure on the way up. This is deviant beyond belief. You gotta love it, okay? Your A point on this is 21.95, your B point is 26.50. Guess what? Bottom line, you're gonna go after the 2803 and probably blow away the 2803. If we go to the SLW, uh, uh, Silver Wheaton, this is as one of the Tigers are saying, it's an ugly candle, it's ugly! And it is ugly, folks, okay, but guess what? This blew into a swing point, took it out with volume, with 2766, got over the 2714, did that with 6.9 million versus 4.5. When you do that, yeah, you can back down a little. You're going to be right back up there. This is just deviance at its extraordinaire. you got to love it. And you know why I really love it, folks? Because the gold market in general loves doing large expansions and large contractions. We know one thing at TFNN, and in particular because we've been in this gold market so long. What we need for higher price is what? We need paranoia. We need people saying, it's not going to go. It's wicked. It's bearish. It's done. It's over. Guess what? That's exactly what we need. The, we know 
no matter how good we are at technical analysis, what is the best sell inside the gold market? What the best sell is, folks, is this, is that every single call that I get is on gold. That's the best sell, okay? We can throw everything else out the door. You know what the best buy is, folks? The best buy is when no one calls for two hours on gold, and that's what happens at Lowe's. It's, it's, it's crazy, I know, but today's, it's just, it's wild. It's, and we'll see where it shakes out. But the bottom line is that this baby wants to go. It doesn't matter which one you bring up. You, you, you've, well, let's go look at a few more. An Eco Eagle, we'll go to AEM. What does AEM do? Gives it up to, now AEM is extended beyond belief. There's no doubt about that. But guess what? Wants to go higher. Blows the B point away, does it with volume. Bottom line, higher prices are coming at us. Okay, bonds. Let's go over the bond market. What do we have with bonds? You know, yesterday we were talking about the 10-year. The and in the context of the 10-year, um, why technically it wants to go higher, but also why, what is the competition? And in particular, we're bringing up, okay, what country are you going to give money to? Well, if you didn't realize it today out here, folks, Portugal blew up today. I mean blew up, okay? The bottom line is that people have been giving money to Portugal, and Portugal, folks, doesn't have any money. The second largest bank today, bottom line, you know, had a liquidity event. As that liquidity event was taking place, guess what? They stopped trading in it. You know, so it's the, it's the ultimate in trading places. They could stop trading. Why? Because their finance minister said, that's it, shut them down. Shut those machines down. That's what they did. Is it going to make a difference? Portugal is a small country, right? Of course it's going to make a difference. Why? Because guess what? Some other banks are on the hook for it. European banks in general, folks, have been broke for a long time. Draghi has been really smart how he uses his words with no big cane to back it up. Okay? I suspect what we're going to see here in the next two or three months is that little by little, you know, those shocks are going to be working all night long tonight, and they're going to be basically going in on fundamental ways, saying, okay, where are these other banks weak? Who's going to get hit? More so, who has the trading positions with the banks that basically, well, with the second largest bank, number one, who has those trading positions? And are they going to be on the hook, and where is that bread? You know, so we'll see how that shakes out, but I suspect uh, that is not the end of it. The 10 year out here, what the 10 year has done, uh, she went higher, has the juice behind the move, gave it up on uh, price also. Uh, but guess what? Higher volume into the swing point, you're going to be right back up there. When you have higher volume into a swing point, folks, and you give it up on price, you back down a little, but guess what? It doesn't mean it has to take it out. What it does mean, though, it'll go right back up and test it. And most of the time, what I've seen is it, when it gets back up and tested, it blows it away in spades. 30 year, 30 year is really strong. The 30 year folks went into its high swing point out here today. Uh, has the volume behind the move, 419,000 contracts. Big numbers. Some of the high volume stocks we had out here, uh, if, we could, if we take a look at it, you had uh, Bank of America down 16 cents, uh, CBS, I don't know why CBS was down so much. Let's go take a look at CBS for a second. So CBS, well, she was down on volume, two bucks, not, not a big deal. Let's go over to Google. We take a look at Google, some of these high flyers. Uh, Google is down three bucks, nothing heavy. Amazon, we take a look at Amazon. Amazon was uh, down two dollars. What we are going to have here is that we're coming into a Friday, um, you know, and can we get a small bounce? Yeah, we can. We're going to go sideways at light volume. What we are going to have already, folks, is this. We're going to have, if we take a look at the SPY for a second, you're going to have a weekly that, let me pull it right now, I'll be able to get a decent gauge on it. So if we put, yeah, you're going to have a weekly, so far we've done 341 million and we're going into 400, yeah, we're going to have a weekly 464, 341, yeah, we're going to have a weekly that's coming down on volume, not monster volume yet, but coming down on volume, that's on, in the, in the, spies if we take a look at the three Q's, the ndx 100 we put that on a weekly she's definitely hard the, the, the three Q's look like they're coming off the high with volume this is going to be this is going to get intriguing we're already at 138 million and that is yeah, with the three Q's. that's interesting man 
See, that's still really deviant because the three Qs are really still at the high. But you are pounding that bottom with volume. 300, 138 million. We made highs last week with 85 million. Uh, we we'll minus a day and a half, though, so you have to put that into consideration. I can't do that quick in my head, but that's still going to be uh, less than what we've already done today. So the bottom line is you're coming off the high with volume in the NDX 100. This is Tom O'Brien. This is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We'll come right back. We ended out. Finished down at 70. NASDAQ off 22. S&P's off 9.5. We're going to be right back. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. Investors, Taz Market Research delivers to his subscribers expert commentary on the analysis of 50 different markets each day. Get this invaluable and timely information through the daily market research videos Taz Market Research produces each day before 9 a.m. The video analysis will include reports on currencies, interest rates, indices, metals, energies, grains, and more. You'll be able to gauge where high profitability setups are in each of the markets. Receive a free two-week trial subscription to Taz Market Research videos on the front page of TFNN.com. Daryl Martin coined the phrase diagnostic trading and we're happy to announce that his diagnostic box spread analyzer has finally been released. The diagnostic box spread analyzer helps you easily identify the best box spreads on Nadex in seconds, plus you receive access to the diagnostic deviation levels as well as step-by-step -step training videos teaching you how to trade Nadex spreads so you can quickly master the mechanics of this simple yet powerful trading instrument. By pulling live data from the Nadex Exchange, the Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer does all the math for you, calculating risk, reward potential, distance to break even for both outright spreads and spreads used to hedge the underlying market. Visit the front page of TFNN.com today to get your two-week free trial to Daryl Martin's Diagnostic Box Spread Analyzer and gain access to the valuable information it can provide when trading the Nadex Box Spreads. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den, but wondered, what exactly is it? The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information, in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of your favorite TFNN shows, plus see all the charts as they happen, live, during those shows, and have access to all those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days. It will greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom? Take your phone calls <laughs> now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648, internationally at 727-445-1044.
Welcome back, folks. We had, uh, let's see, United Technologies was down 33 cents. We had Amazon off 205. JP Morgan, uh, 76, uh, 46 cents, rather. Uh, Big Mac was down 49. Now, let's go overseas. So, first, we'll go to Asia. We'll take a look at Asia. Uh, last night in Asia, kind of a flat market. Nikkei was off 8 tenths of a percent. You had the Hang Seng up 2 tenths. Um, Europe, whole different ball game, and we're going to bisect and dissect this baby. We'll start with the FTSE 100, FTSE 100 down 45 bucks, 66.72. That is making its way down. In fact, there's an expansion of volume. Oh, this is nice. I got the volume already today. Interesting. So we did come down, expanded volume, uh, 765 million shares. Uh, you have uh, the February 5th time frame. That's what's going to get tested, folks. Right now, in the FTSE 100, that is 64.16, and we're at 66.72. The DAX in Germany, there was no mercy in Germany out here today. Let me tell you. Pretty intense, actually. Um, and Germany in three days, by the way. This is what Germany did in three days. It went back six months. Um, we're down $149. Ger you know, it's wild. The DAX in Germany trades like the NASDAQ, you know, strong like a bull, and then when it falls apart, it's like, ba-boom, it blows apart. DAX in Germany, also high volume on the way down. We had uh, 98 million shares traded, blows the swing point away with 94 million. Uh, DAX is at 96.59, and what's game out here is the March 14th low. Now, the, and the, the DAX in, what the DAX in Germany did is this. You had the February 5th low, it did a counter trend bounce up, and then came back and blew away the February 5th low, March 14th. So now what you have is you have a high volume low on March 14th. That's where it's going to go after. Uh, let's go to our own markets. We'll start with the Russell 2000. Uh, Russell 2000 continues to be weak in a huge way. We right now are at 1161. Uh, what we had out here today is a gap away with a doji, which is the halfway move down. We're at 11, excuse me, 1161. The swing lows are, that it wants to go after is 1082. And that's not that far down, really. Uh, if we take a look at, excuse me, the IWM, the iShare, uh, who we have with the iShare, at 50 million shares traded. That 50 million is going against 67 million. Still had an expansion of volume. Took out a swing point of 52 million. Bottom line, February 5th is wide open. Now, let's put this on a weekly basis and see what we have. Yeah, she's big on a weekly. So on a weekly basis, 113. Oh, this is going to be interesting. So check this out. When I just put this on a weekly basis, the high of the low of May is 113.03. We went to 113.97 today. The volume here is 163 million versus 330. So what you're going to have is this. At 113.03, which is two points away, if you're a bull, what you'd like to see is you'd like to see this hit it tomorrow. Because if it hit it tomorrow, you would not have enough volume to break it down. Not even close either. You know, because right now, on a weekly basis, we've only done 163 million. Let's say it does 50, so you get, you'd have a 200 million versus 320. It hits it, you're a bull, you get a bounce. If you're a bear, what you want to see is that it gets down to it and hangs right at it. You know, today we get the 113.97. If you get down there and you just hang right at it, guess what? Market can sleep all weekend, get a bunch of energy up. Monday morning, see ya. Don't want to be ya. Uh, what you do have is this, is that when we stay with the Russell 2000, what you're going to see on Tiger TV right now, what I'm going to put up is how these channels are lined up. And what you're going to see is that we are building cause for lower price. This channel um, that has been laying out here is a, is a pretty decent channel. If it, if it went for another month, month and a half, it would actually even be more. The probability would be higher that you would be going south. The reason I'm saying is that what you like to do with any type of channel line or any type of 
channel line, yeah, channel line, trend line, is that you like to have it touching three different parts of the channel. In this particular case, I have this on a weekly and it's only two parts that it's hitting. The first part would be the downdraft that was created in February. On a weekly basis, we did 315 million. Now watch that. The low price is 110. You go up, and as we went up to 120, you did 270 million. So we had 315 on the way down. On the way up, you had 270. Now that's the first time. And so when you're lining channels up, that's the first time. That, those are your benchmarks, right? So watch what happens. Couldn't handle a high of 120. It comes back down, and as we come back down, it does what? 320 million. So the first time down, it did 315. Second time down, 320. Rejected it. Now it goes back up. Guess what? When we went back up, it did 146 million. Now, what we have to do with 146, we'll do this quick. Okay, so that's the week of July 4th. So you got, uh, what, three, fours, a 12, 40. I got to add about a 60 million in there. So that would be saying, once I add the day and a half of trading in it, you still have done less volume. You've done now 200 million. So the first time up, you did 270. Second time up, you did 200. First time down, you did 315. Second time down, you did 320. What do you think that's saying? What that's saying specifically is that the fourth is downtown. We're working our way down there again. How we come into that again? If it's going to break down, it's going to need more volume. And just picture it as a jackhammer, folks. That's all. It, it's real clean when you think of it as an apartment building. There are floors that are built. The more that it's banging on the floor with volume, the, the hole opens up. Each one of these downdrafts that had volume is a hole that has already opened. If you're looking for equities that are going higher, it's just the opposite. You'd be going into swing highs, and as you're going into swing highs, you'd have an expansion of volume, and it would be pushing through that roof and just blowing that roof open. That's, that's how these things work. Let's go to Big Blue. Big Blue uh, spending a lot of money out here, $3 billion. They plan on making a new chip. Is it going to matter? It's not going to matter right now. Why? Because when Big Blue came down, it came down with 11 million shares. Uh, it was going into that with 6.6 .6 million. And that was its day of strength on the first. That wasn't even close, though. Then the volume died off again. 5 million. Today it did 3 million. Big Blue is building cars for much lower prices. We go take a look at the XLF, the financials. Uh, we have with the financials is this. They've been moving really slow. It's a slow roll. Uh, the last swing low, well, not the last. I go first. I go to the last. The last swing low we had was the 26th of June, 22.50. You did 26 million shares. Today we did 25.6. The one prior to that, you did 33. We did 26. That's building cause. It's building cause for what? The the XL E XLF rather, folks, has is screaming that it wants to get down to the February 5th swing lows. February 5th is a swing low right across all the markets. This is Tom O'Brien, this is TFNN. You stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. We did out, finished out at 70. NASDAQ off 22, S&P's nine, off nine and a half. We're gonna be right back. Tom O'Brien's weekly gold letter, The Gold Report, gives complete and concise coverage of the entire gold market. Inside, you'll get Tom's commentary on gold, the dollar, the rand, the bond, the XAU, the HUI, and detailed coverage of nearly 25 mining stocks. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock trade. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. With a lifetime of knowledge and almost 12 years of writing his informative weekly newsletter, The Gold Report, Tom O'Brien can provide you with the important market information to help you make better trades in the gold market. Don't let the next bull run in gold pass you by. To get a month-long free trial to The Gold Report, an $85 value, visit the front page of TFNN.com today. 
Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. We're told to follow our passion and everything else will fall into place. I hope that's what each of you are doing each and every day. Hi, I'm Steve Rhodes, host of the Money Master Show at TFN.com, and my passion for technical analysis is what led me to the most fundamental discovery and pattern recognition, the Rhodes Momentum Indicator, market scanner and trading strategy, a set of tools that identify the momentum and power of the trend, the likes of which have never been seen before, for every market and every time frame. Yes, folks, the trend is your friend, unless you're on the other side. New to technical analysis? This is the place to start. And experienced traders, take advantage of the trend like never before. Experience the power of the Rhodes Momentum Indicator each day, available to subscribers of my newsletter service, Mastering Probability. I guarantee your satisfaction for the next 30 days unconditionally, so there's no risk to you other than being on the wrong side of the trend. Mastering Probability, available on the homepage of TFNN.com. And folks, live with passion. You take a hands-on approach to managing your investments, and whether you're bullish or bearish on U.S. Treasuries, the ETFs from Direction Shares are there to help you magnify your perspective. Bull ETFs for a rising market and bear ETFs for a falling market. Direction Shares gives you the tools for both sides of the trade. Discover how we can help at DirectionShares.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction Shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary Prospectus contain this and other information about Direction Shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction Shares at 800-851-0511. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors employing dynamic strategies. Investors in the fund should understand the consequences of seeking daily investment results, understand the risk of shorting, and intend to actively monitor and manage their investments. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. No matter where you listen to TFNN programming, we want you to know you can always access your favorite shows on demand through TFNN.com. TFNN airs live programming every market day from 9 a.m. till 6 p.m. Eastern, and you can view each program by accessing Tiger TV through our homepage. We even have an easy link for all mobile devices, including iPhones and iPads, located at the top right-hand corner of the TFNN homepage. You can use your smartphone to view Tiger TV, but if you don't have a mobile connection that can keep up with streaming live video, then you can simply visit TFNN.mob in the browser of your smartphone for live streaming audio of all of our programs. The mission of TFNN is to educate our audience directly and interactively through our interactive website and radio call and talk shows. TFNN is able to teach all levels of investors the technical skills needed to trade in today's marketplace. In order to get the best information possible, TFNN has assembled the most respected financial minds in the country to provide the most current news and comprehensive advice available. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. If you'd like to test drive my goal report the way you can do it, folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You go to newsletters. You can go to investment newsletters. You can test drive the goal report 30 days absolutely free. Okay. Euro. Let's go to the euro and take a look at the euro. What do we have? Because good old uh, euro land is going to get interesting here. We're at 136.07. Um, last counter trend bounce got this baby up to 136.98. Couldn't handle it. Uh, the bottom of this range is 134. Uh, 77 to be exact. Uh, now, it looks to me like we had a nice little ABC structure on the way down setting up. Uh, the last counter trend bounce, you know, last eight weeks, just couldn't handle higher price. Um, just couldn't get there. 
what what is sticking out like a sore thumb is that your A point on this would be 139.67 and your B is 135. So um, you're talking, you know, four cents. That's not a huge amount, but that'll bring you down to 133. Um, you know, 133, there'll be some support there for a bit and we'd see like, how it handled it, how it came in with volume into those lower areas. Uh, what is intriguing out here, no doubt, is that we had Gold was up, the dollar was up. That's going to get interesting watching how this whole thing is shaken out. Uh, if we go over to the, let's go over to the GLD for a second. So the GLD, of course, is the Street Tracks Trust. Now this little baby, compared to the um, gold market, the physical future market rather, is going to need some volume in it. Uh, this only did 6.3 million, and this really should have it needed about 18, 19 million. So. That's going to need some volume. What I do expect, though, this is what's really cool, so check this out, folks. What you're going to see is that the GLD itself, the Street Track Trust, is going to have to come into the market and buy gold again. That's what they're going to have to do. Uh, this is the first time uh, in, since 2011 that the trend has changed, meaning that the GLD is coming in buying versus, versus selling. Because what we had out here today is that you had that surge in gold, um, you know, takes out swing points, but you know, in itself, in four days we've had gold go from 310 to 339. What that's going to do is that's going to put in a fundamental buy of physical gold in order to basically put away inside the GLD, and I expect uh, you'll see that probably reported tomorrow. They're probably buying that baby out there right now. That type of trend has changed the context of the gold market also. Um, same happens in silver. So uh, it's going to be interesting to see how much they have to buy, because when you get a surge like this, that was a decent surge. Um, and, and they basically have to keep, see if we go over to the GLD and you look at the net asset value, okay, I guess I have it. Okay, so. We're at 128.54, the net asset value is 128.51. Oh, hold it. No, no, I like it. Oh, interesting. Yeah, no, it's 128.51. Um, today's the 10th, right? Yeah, today's the 10th. Okay, yesterday was 127.31. Uh, so the bottom line is that in order to basically keep the GLD even, they're going to be out there uh, in the gold market. Let's go over and we take a look at Apple. Uh, Apple out here, you know, flat market out here today, uh, $95.03. pennies. And uh, what I expect you're going you're to see out here is that uh, Apple, it's a slow roll to the downside. Apple wants to make its way back to this 85 area. Uh, after the close out here today, we had, uh, let's see, rent to center. Uh, R C I I. So rent to center closed at uh, twenty nine dollars and six cents, down forty seven cents. She is trading down another. Uh, well, she's trading down three bucks. She's trading down two fifty. Uh, oh, this is a no brainer too. Look at this. This is pretty amazing. So rent to center had gapped away the last time she was uh, had earnings thirty one dollars. She gaps down to twenty four. She makes her way all the way back to $30.94 with no volume, by the way. And she's gapping down again. Let's see what rent to center has to say. Oh, this is, ooh, what an ugly looking chart this is. Okay, so let's see what they have to say. Let's see. Rent to center. Okay, so they, uh, there she is. Revenue is seven hundred and seventy three million. They okay, so here it is here. Estimate was forty eight cents, they made thirty six to thirty eight. Yeah. This 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 whole retail space is in tough shape right now. Uh lumber liquidators, that absolutely got smoked. That was down fifteen dollars today, folks, at, at fifty five. And guess what? That had no volume at highs anyway. Um H D, let's go over to Home Depot, because that was hitting um all the home stocks. Uh, home Depot, 
she's in a consolidation. If I put this into a weekly basis, she's still in a consolidation. You know, but in that consolidation that she's in, Home Depot wants to, she's at 79.40. She can back to 72 bucks pretty easy. Uh, M, let me just see this. One, two, RV. We'll go into, go into Mohawk. We'll take a look at Mohawk. Where is Mohawk? MHK. HK. So Mohawk was off 450. She takes a swing point out, does it with volume, by the way. Put that on a weekly. Yeah, Mohawk is at 130, and she can pull back to uh, 113. Let me put this on a monthly for a second. So on a monthly basis, oh, this one's going to get interesting. So on a monthly basis, you know, she's decent up at her highs. This is going to be just a natural pullback and something that wants to go higher. Uh, Mohawk hasn't had a pullback since $40, folks. And that in itself, okay, is not a normal market. So a 50% pullback gets you down to $99. No big deal. Uh, and it's no big deal unless you own it. <laughs> Put a stop in. Uh, we go over and we take a look at uh, Price Smart. Price Smart closed at $86. It's trading at 82. Let's see what this company does. They own and manage international merchandising businesses. The um, Price Costco, Price Smart. I think I remember what this is. Uh, auto referral program. Yeah, I see what this is. Uh, so the low is 82. The high is 126. She's trading down $4 right now. Numbers go like this. The sales were up 7.6%. The estimate was 70 cents. She made 70. They don't like something in here. Um, I see what it is. Okay, so check this out. This is an, when you miss on the revenue, but they're claiming they've beaten the bottom line. The market doesn't believe it, folks. Okay, so they they claim that they beat by one penny, but yet their revenue is lower. Market doesn't like that. Uh, she's trading at 82 bucks. We pull this up. Oh, this is a disaster stock too. Oh, look at this. This is so we're looking at Price Smart right now, and it's PSMT. If you want to see a classic high volume low, high volume high with no volume, um, last time this had any volume, folks, was seventy-two dollars. That was in 011. She goes all the way up to one hundred and twenty-six with light volume. Takes uh, let's see, well, January of 012. She's there. First time she was there was October of 2011, October 12, 13, 14. It's amazing. It almost took, uh, well, it took two and a half years to get up there, and it took six months to get back. This thing's going to basically come down into the price point of 78 to 56. You know, it's a classic extension, no volume on the extension. She comes off the highs, and as our man Andy Heck says, the elevator down, folks, is so much quicker than the elevator up. And that's, that's, a, that's right across all markets all the time. We take a look at uh, uh, Bank of America. What Bank of America is trying to do is put something together so they can pay a dividend. Bank of America is still struggling out here. She was, uh, she's trading at $15.44. And she looks like she's got a little ABC structure on the way down. She came off the high of uh, 18 bucks. First leg down was 14. She's up at 15. We put this on a monthly, and what you're going to see is that oh man, she, Bank of America is going to need so much more volume. When this baby got smoked, folks, okay, you're, you're talking about uh, coming down on 2.4 billion, 4.8 billion. And then we're going up on 2.3. She's going to be in this consolidation for quite a while. And uh, you know what you, what you do have is that there's many bonds that these banks are not going to be able to trade. And what happens in the bond market, folks, it's the least transparent market there is. So that means that when you are trading them, you can make the most amount of money. And that is what many of these banks have to give up uh, because the bottom line is that. Uh, they, their risk profiles from the 2007 crash, um, that was one of the main reasons they had no liquidity, because they were taking way too much risk with your money. We're going to be right back, folks. 
And the Hex powerful weekly newsletter, the Technomental Commodity Report, has delivered multiple triple-digit winning trades in recent months. And right now is the perfect time to get a full month long trial to Andy's newsletter with no obligation to pay anything. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you'll lock in the low rate of only $59 a month. Sign up right now for the Technomental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. If you're an active trader looking for that extra edge when it comes to trading and investments, then now is a great time to get a two-week free trial to Tom O'Brien's daily market letter, Market Insights. Tom O'Brien's daily newsletter, Market Insights, comes out every market day at around 9.30 a.m. and provides Tom's daily commentary on the broad market, including the Dow, NASDAQ, and S&P, plus specific trade recommendations. There's even an update published most afternoons to keep you informed about the day's market activity. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stock price of each stock in option trade. With Market Insights, there's nothing left to guessing. For all the details and to get your two-week free trial to Market Insights started today, visit TFNN.com. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange. And unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at Nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. Who says you can't take it with you? TFNN says you can. With your mobile device and TFNN's live radio streams, TFNN has put it all in the palm of your hands. No special apps to download. No subscription fees for live radio or Tiger TV streams. We say you can. Now let's go over to the dollar because the dollar is going to be the generator. It is the generator of basically higher dollar, lower market. And what the dollar has done and this whole uptrend, folks, has just gone sideways. The way it works, folks, is this. We say you can. The Tiger Financial News Network. Smart investors and professional traders know you can. TFNN.com. Educating investors. This 
segment is brought to you by Harmony Gold. For more information, just click the Harmony Gold banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Tom O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Don't forget, folks, at TFNN, we start programming every day, every trading day at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time. We go live at 9 a.m. all the way to 6 p.m. You can get all that programming right on your cell phone, tfnn.mobi. That's all you have to do is tfnn.mobi. That gives you the full audio stream. If you'd like to get Tiger TV, which comes out great on your phone, just go tfnn.com. You can see a little box on the right-hand side with devices in it. Hit the box. You'll get Tiger TV delivered to your phone. Of course, Tiger TV has the audio, the audio as well as the video. Now, check this out, folks. This is about as intense as I've ever seen it inside the marketplace, meaning what can happen to a stock on a pump and dump. And this is absolutely phenomenal. Okay, so the symbol of the stock is CYNK, uh, Sync Technology. Okay, the definition uh, of, uh, of what they're supposed to do is it was founded as a web-based social network that allows individuals to post profile and link to their profile to other friends, like a Facebook, I guess, right? Um, in the matter of 36, no, in the matter of 17, 17 trading days, 17 trading days, the stock has gone from six cents to $21.95. It has a market cap of four billion dollars right now. <laughs> Check it out. And this is a fraud. Don't touch this stock, folks. It's amazing. Uh, this is a, a one-man band, Las Vegas, Nevada. Uh, actually, it's it's hard to tell whether it was a man or a woman. Uh, Marlon uh, Sanchez. That's who's on the on the, the top of it. Um, bottom line is that you talk about euphoria. This is like who's ever buying this? Whoever bought this intraday today has to be getting killed. This is what the stock did. Well, forget this even in today. If you bought it, if you bought it yesterday, what day is today? Yeah, if you bought it the eighth, today's the tenth, right? Okay, so let, let's talk to you yesterday. Yesterday was at nine dollars. Today, what does it do? It opens at thirteen. It goes to twenty-one, crashes to thirteen, right? Two days ago it was four ninety-five. The day before that it was three dollars. This is like the biggest scam I've ever seen. Um, five days ago, it was $2.18. Um, I was listening to this when I was at lunch, uh, and uh, Brian Sullivan was talking about it on CNBC. Uh, it was pretty amazing. He was doing some reporting on it, and the address the SEC has is 400-something uh, uh, Boulevard in Las Vegas. Uh, bottom line is that Brian had got hold of the rest of the people that were, well, first off, the rest of the people that were in that building, and they, they don't know anything about this, this company or this person. Uh, bottom line is that this is not going to end in a great way for the folks that bought this thing. The amazing part about it is that it has, isn't halted yet. You know, Think about it. For, this zero tech, they, well, when you pull it up, they don't have any revenue. Zero, zero revenue. You know, um, it's, it's just pretty amazing. The, if I bring up the ownership, um, just, you know, it's amazing. If they could get the money out of it, you can imagine. The ownership, 72%. Uh, uh, this one man or woman has 210 million shares. You can imagine uh, if they were selling into the marketplace, one second you have something that's worth a penny, and the next second you have something that's worth $4, $10, $15, then $21.95. Now, now, what that is, folks, is this. That is an indication of what? That's an indication um, that we're in the funny money bubble territory of the market. You know, um, the whole market's not in a bubble. But what does happen when markets get giggly is that this is the type of equity, and it happens more than once, that comes out, that people say, I want in, I want in, and guess what? They lose money hand over fist. In fact, let me, let me, I'm going to pull this up just to see, I can see. Okay, so watch this. 
Inside the context, if you're watching Tiger TV, I'm showing you the trades that are taking place. And there are actually people that bought this at 1,000 shares at a time. So you can imagine you buy a share at $20 intraday. It closes at $13, $7. Or just the opposite way. Imagine you bought it this morning. Well, yeah, we can actually look at this. It, it, at 9.42, someone bought a 1,200 shares at 13.40. Now, if that same 1,200 got sold out on the other side, God bless them. They made a fortune <laughs> because there, there are... Um, 4,900 shares sold at, uh, well, it's 2,300 sold at $20.80. The bottom line is that that is a huge amount of money uh, right down the drain. And we'll see uh, if, in fact, uh, someone gets locked up over that. But uh, it's pretty amazing that you can actually get a company up and going. Here, I'll put this up so you can actually see this. It's pretty amazing, actually. There's not many companies I've seen that has a one-man band like this also, at least public, well, public companies, okay? Private companies can do it in a second. But you can see inside the management, it's a one-man band, president, CEO, CFO, and secretary. Now, privately, that, that's normal. But publicly, I really didn't uh, see. The, and this, what this did in order to get public, by the way, okay, it was a reverse stock split. So what they did is that they bought, oh, this is the pink sheet too. So what they did is this, they bought a shell company. They did a 75 for one reverse stock split. That's what they did. If you're looking at the screen, that stock split was done last year, uh, July 16th. And then they just came out with this though. Um, let's see, it looks to me like the first day this was trading. It was June 17th, maybe. Yeah, June. it looks like June 17th. And right on, even June 17th, man, it, it's amazing. They must have, they have some kind of a promotion. They must have been hiring that wolf from Wall Street or something because uh, even on the 17th, the stock went from 10 cents to 425. 10 cents to 425 in one day. And it had volume of 367,000 shares. Bottom line, buyer, beware, don't even go close to it. Okay, so what do we have market-wise? Market-wise, folks, um, S&P came back quite a bit. Huge, huge, actually, okay? Um, are we going to go to the highs? No. Why? What you have is that this is the second time that you have come off these highs with volume. You had that nice little bounce yesterday, zero volume. Come back down today with volume. The DAX is down the volume. The FTSE is down the volume. You're going to see the Asia down tonight. Always remember, folks, Whatever you think about, you bring about. Whatever you focus on grows. And whatever you want in life, folks, visualize it like a nice big motion picture. Step into it. Take ownership of it. Fly with it. Thanks for being here, folks. Have a great night. Safe night. Look forward to speaking to you right here tomorrow. Real! Go get them, folks.